The industry's premier orthobiologics event is Toby 2016, the seventh annual PRP and Regenerative Medicine Symposium, Workshops, and Cadaver Labs. I am Dr. Steve Sampson, the founder of Toby. We had over 500 attendees, 84 international ambassadors coming from over 30 countries. This is my sixth meeting at Toby, um, and it's really become the premier event of the who's who in orthobiologics, not only in this country, but around the world. Every year there's something new to learn. It's a great opportunity to bring all these leaders in this field together. Just a great way to share information and talk about research and clinical outcomes. Toby 2016 has been absolutely fantastic. What we learn here from all these great doctors and clinicians and researchers on the human sports medicine side, we can directly translate to our patients that do canine athletics. I think this is a wonderful conference because it brings a lot of diverse ideas together and reminds us all that there's more than one way to achieve an end result. The symposium features thought leaders from around the globe, sharing their latest research and best practices in orthobiologic regenerative medicine. Depending on how PRP is being used, it really makes a difference to have white blood cells in there. We are getting away from the secrets and we really have a close look in what's cooking in each other's kitchens. What's interesting is when we inject, you can just see this disc totally expand. It's fix a flat. And I think PRP, I mean, you could push it as almost as as far as you want. This is just with a 3cc syringe. Orthobiologics is exploding and one of the reasons is patients really need better options. We decided that we would conduct uh, the first randomized, blinded, placebo-controlled trial of BMAC. What we found compared to placebo is that bone marrow aspiration and concentration injections for osteoarthritis can dramatically relieve knee pain in patients with mild to moderate osteoarthritis. One of the new interesting findings is that for the treatment of muscle regeneration, taking platelets out of PRP appears to be the ideal formulation when you examine the cell's ability to turn into muscle tissue. What's the consensus uh, from the panel regarding the use of PRP for treating OA uh, in terms of frequency and number? Because it seems to be some wide variability there. In our practices, we start with one and we see how you do. We typically are hoping for a response a year out, at least, and the savvy patient will say, well, if I can get a year on PRP, let me do that every year and forget about BMC. The workshops teach the essential foundation to cutting-edge therapies. Today was a great day as we completed the second day of the conference, including our breakout workshops focused on bone marrow aspirate, lipo aspirate, as well as PRP beginner basics and hydrodissection. The Cadaver Lab facilitates hands-on experience where participants learn valuable therapies from field experts. I'll be demonstrating how to pull the adipose tissue from the body and then from there we'll actually then process it in a closed chamber system which will then turn these adipocytes into an activated mesenchymal stem cell product. The exhibition hall features vendors in the cutting-edge field of regenerative medicine focused on orthobiologics. We're here at Toby showcasing the marrow solution, bone marrow harvesting technology. We're trying to understand the marketplace and we're learning a lot about the challenges in the field, things that we didn't realize before. It's been wonderful to meet a lot of people at Toby. It's helped me to be networking with these guys. There's really no other conferences in the world that put together this sort of panel of people and experts in the orthobiologic field. And so I always make it a priority to attend. I uh, advise to all my colleagues to come uh, here in Vegas to enjoy and to learn about the uh, regenerative uh, medicine. There are so many new things we are learning, different ways of harnessing biologics, different ways of injecting biologics, and different outcomes. And it's great that everybody's bringing the data and sharing it with all of us. One of the most exciting things about Toby this year was the evolution of our understanding of adipose-derived stem cells. This is a, historically a crowd that has used bone marrow stem cells for a long time and now I think that uh, many of the physicians here are recognizing the potential for adipose-derived stem cells and they're starting to integrate that into their practice. Regenerative medicine holds the solution for a cure. This is a wound and on the wound they sprinkle P PRP and so there's that famous pericyte, you're leaving the blood vessel, this is time lapsed, but you can see what happens to the wound of a fish. So you put PRP onto a wound, 
the wound's gonna heal because pericytes come into the area and do the repair. It's phenomenal. I can run now. I had not run in over a year before I had that first session. I think that the preparation of the lesion is one of the most important aspects in this surgery. You must remove all the damaged tissue. I want to congratulate Steve Sampson for this uh, great meeting. It was so nice to find people from all the world here in the United States, in Vegas, discussing of orthobiologics. I go to many meetings, and sometimes you have only scientists in those meetings, or sometimes you have only surgeons in those meetings. So here you have a good mixture. And I think to really improve tissue repair, you need both parties. You need the clinician that are doing the surgery and everything, but you need the scientists as well. I want to thank all the attendees for coming. Please go back to your practices and complete data. As Dr. Lutz alluded to, data talks. We need it. We need it as a society. Let's all work together. We'll elevate the field. Thanks to all the participants and staff for making yeah. Toby 2016 a world-class event. Be sure to join us for Toby 2017. Register now at www.prpseminar.com.